people of YouTube, it is iTunes Fans 777 here again with another, not exactly tutorial, but my top 8 Mac apps. Now, most of these are free and the rest are demos or shareware which you can buy the full version. So, the first app I want to talk about is App Cleaner. Now, App Cleaner is exactly like App Zapper, although it is free. No trial software, no spy, uh, sorry, no or share where it is absolutely free. So I'm actually going to choose, uh, actually going to show you how it works because I don't want this app anymore. AOL. Now you probably nobody's ever heard of this, but AOL is an old, um, well, it's not exactly old, but it's an app actually that is outdated. Um, I don't use it anymore. I used it when there was dial up connection, but everybody doesn't have dial up now, do they? So, oh, uh, it's not deleting. Hmm. So I'm gonna choose another one, just an example. Um, I don't know. Um, here, yeah, flock. Now it shows everything that's associated with flock, and then you just hit delete, and everything is gone. So that's what that is. Everything associated with AOL apparently doesn't pop up. Now, um, yeah. So, and yeah. That's what App Cleaner is. Now, my second favorite one is Caffeine. Now, Caffeine is a nice app that keeps your computer always on. It will not fall asleep. But it, you can disable it and you can start it at startup. So I'll show you what it is. It's this. The steaming, this cup of, this cappuccino cup. You just click it and then it's steaming and it's filled with um, coffee. Now, um, it is designed to keep your whole computer awake no matter what, it will not fall asleep. That's when it's clicked. You click it again, and there's no nothing in there, and it's not steaming, and your computer will fall asleep. I find it very helpful for those days where you're writing a research paper, and your computer just blinks out. So, my next favorite app is Doc Library. Now, you people might know this, you might not. Doc Library is a doc, is where it has... A bunch of docs in it. Well, you download docs from Docalicious, and you hit import, and then they're all here. Um, your doc is here, and you can customize it. That's how I got this kind of doc. You customize it. Like I said, um, you can choose. You have to go to Docalicious or Google Docs, the doc library, and then it should bring you to the Docalicious page with tons of docs, tons of different style. And you just once it's there, you have to click import and go to where you downloaded it and then hit activate now some apps some docs will play some won't it all depends on who's the make of the doc really this is probably my favorite one yeah okay so that's doc library the next one is probably itunes 7 replacements now it's not what you think it is it is not actually itunes it iTunes 7 replacement is right here. Now, it has, it's not really an application either. So you, if you've seen my last tutorial how to change your iTunes icon, you know what I mean. So you just go to whatever color you like and then click the pink one and click copy, edit, copy. Show in Finder. Get info. And paste it. And bam, it's purple. It has tons of different, um, different. Um, it has tons of different colors of the iTunes icon, and they're all pre-cropped. So. Um, yeah, so that's how it's done.
Now it's purple, and there's tons of different colors. So that's what it is. That's what um, iTunes have a replacement song. Now, Quicksilver. Quicksilver is, you probably don't, you probably haven't heard of it, and it's hard to find on the internet, but it's a great, great app. So you click it, and then you type in whatever app you're looking for, like Marble. See, that's an app, but I'm going to show you the next app in the line, show you how well this works. So it's real bean. Okay, so real, huh, right there, real bean. Alright, now real bean is a program that is a converter, basically. So you choose a program. You choose a pro not a program, sorry. Um you choose a movie file and you once it's open you go here, click open movie. I don't have a movie to show you. Then you click this red dot down here after it's loaded. And then a sidebar will pop up with all different formats. You click the format you want and then bingo bango bazanga you have the new file. The new MP4, MPEG, FLV, anything. Now, Real Bean is not free. I am sorry to tell you. The next one is Bullet. Now, Bullet is free. Uh, Bullet is fun to play around with. Basically, if you have a picture of somebody you don't like, or you're just mad and you don't get the steam, that's fine. Can fade the bullets away. Stop them in the middle, it's fun. Or you can show the bullseye. So that's what bullet is. It's fun. It's really just kind of a game thing. The next and final one is Delicious Library 2. Now, Delicious Library 2 is not free either. It is an app that keeps track of all your video games or all of your movies, music, or books, whatever you want. Now, I will open it. Okay, here we go. Delicious Library. Okay. So... You can add um, a game. Well, here, let me delete one. I'm still using the trial version, delete item. It only lets you do like 20 copies of something. Okay, so this is how it works. You put the barcode up to this, the, your camera and your Mac. Wait for the bar to line. Okay, there it is. No, it should tell me what uh, it is once it's loaded. Oh. Okay, reach. Here we go. I have to do it again. Alright, well, I have to choose something else because that one didn't show up. Um, one second, let me get something. Okay. Here it is. Here's the one I'm going to show. So, you hold the bar up, barcode up to your eyesight camera. There we go. Here we go. It's showing. Grey's Anatomy by UBI Soft. And then it gives you the whole deal about it. The synapse, the details, the reviews. Apparently this is not such a good game. Um, and then get similar ones. You can also add one yourself. 
you can actually add a game yourself. Um, but that's what it is. That's what library is. Um, so those are my top eight Mac apps. Now, um, you can Google all of them and they should pop up. Otherwise, leave comments to which ones you want me to find for you. And I will get them for you. Don't worry. So comment, subscribe, and thanks. Um,